Like, subscribe within 10 seconds or you will have bad luck for 10 years. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to another Livetopia episode and if you know there's been another update here and a new update is pretty awesome guys We got a brand new house and I think there might even be some new tools or like uniforms But first of all, let's go ahead and check out the new house dude uh, Let's just make sure there's no new vehicles because suddenly they're they've added a new vehicle But uh, it doesn't look like that, but that's fine Now we are going to be checking out the new brand new house in Livetopia and I think if you join a Livetopia game now uh, you will see a lot of these houses because everyone likes to use the new houses, you know But yeah, let's go, let's just go ahead and spawn in here at lot uh, 16. There we go. And uh, where is the new house? Uh, we got we got we got the new house up there, but uh, are there any other new houses? We, we just got to check. Nope, it looks like that is the only new house, but it looks pretty crazy So uh, let's go ahead and check it out And I'm going to be doing a little review about this house and let you guys know what my thoughts are about this new update All right, so the house is all spawned in and dude, it's looking pretty like Futuristic or almost like a space base dude looks like something that would have been on Mars or something like that And you can see there. There's a lot of ca cameras outside. Okay, so it's uh, pretty much pretty secure looks great so far And then in the entrance door dude look at this it literally looks like a space station But let's go ahead and go in opens pretty cool You've got this uh, red light here that shows the direction in case that uh, all the lights go out and in this case There's no light inside can you turn on the lights. Oh, dude. You can actually turn on the lights here. Okay Awesome, let's go ahead and turn on some lights and in the beginning here, you can see a secret room, dude. What, what is that room about? What, what's in there, dude? Okay, I'm not too sure, man. Okay, let's just go, go ahead and continue in. There's something here. I guess that's the light. Yep, it is. And we got a nice little space door here. Can you shut this off? No, but you can turn on the lights inside of here. Oh, dude, this door automatically opens. Just look at this, dude. Hey, <laughs> dude, that's so cool. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. I'm not too sure why this house spawn ends with no lights. Why does they have any lights? Okay, so on the left side here, we got something. What? A bar, dude? Okay, so this is literally a space station, I guess. This is actually a space station because you got the bar there, like a common uh, eating area. And what do I have on the right side? Let's go ahead and see dude. It looks like what bro. What is this? It's like when you work in here You can like kind of like book in people. Is this like a space hotel, dude? <laughs> Dude, imagine if this is actually a space hotel. That would have been awesome. Okay, okay, we got a book. You can pick up this book. Doesn't do anything, but it's a nice little book. And it's time to check out the space bar. Can we get some lights on air, dude? It's looking real, real dark in here, dude. I wanna, I wanna see what's what, what, what we're working with here. Okay, just turning on all the lights so we just uh, know what's going on here. Okay, so we got the space bar here. Looks really, really nice. So here we got the common eating area. It looks like we got a nice burger. Got some sushi in there. And then here we got the cool little fridge. You got your Coke, banana, drinks, pizza, whatever. And yeah, you got some blending machines, coffee machine, and a blender. Pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And here, right here, we got the couch. Here you can just sit in the space couch, watch some space TV, get some space Netflix, whatever you're into, guys. <laughs> Dude, imagine that. Imagine if there was space Netflix. And in here, we got a huge TV you can actually turn on. Just so people can have fun and stuff like that. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And here, we got a little library or just a couple of bookshelf, you can call it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so when you go into the space kitchen, there's actually a door here. A automatic door. So let's go ahead and go in there. Oh, okay, okay. Here, we got the space toilet, guys. We got the space toilet. Dude, how cool is that? Just imagine taking a shower on Mars. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Okay, so the space... Space toilet is pretty nice, dude. I like the blue color. The tiles are pretty neat. Not too bad, not too bad. And you can even click on the toilet paper and it will just roll around like that. Okay, nice, nice little space, space toilet, but it doesn't make sense that it's that close to the kitchen because that's kind of like, you know, germs and bacteria and stuff like that. That's kind of nasty, dude. That's kind of bad placement. Uh, the door should have been like here or something like that, but it's okay. Uh, was there, was there like any other? Okay, okay, so we got some more rooms, dude. Before we go up to the second floor, I'm going to be exploring the other rooms we got in. And dude, now this is like... Why is there like a laser thingy now? I didn't see that earlier, but okay. But yeah, uh, we got a nice little room here, automatic door, and this is, looks like something you grow aliens out of. Dude, look at this. This looks like an alien lab, but I guess that's exactly what it is. It's it's like a lab, dude. It's like a space lab. Pretty nice. It looks like you can grow like hu humans in here, like uh, like clones, stuff like that. I have no clue, guys. I'm not, I'm not a space engineer or something like that, but pretty cool office. Okay, so what we got in here? Here we got another automatic door. 
And in here we got some plants. Cause when you're up in space, up in Mars or whatever, you, wherever you are, you can't go outside to plant your greens. You gotta plant them inside and this is exactly where you plant them, I guess. And uh, I have no clue why there's so many bookshelves, dude. Why are there so many bookshelves? Why do you need a library where you grow your vegetables? What in the world is that, dude? Okay, <laughs> that's so crazy. Okay, so that, there we go. That's the office area, I guess, the working area. So I guess it's time to head up to Oh, oh, dude, I actually had correct. There's, it says Mars there. So I was correct, dude. It's a Mars space base. Awesome. Okay, but it's time to go up to the second floor. There's basically no lights here. I'm not too sure where you turn on the lights. So it's kind of dark. Let me go ahead and turn on the lights. There we go. Okay, now we got some lights here. And dude, again, more books. How many books do you need up here? Ah, oh, dude, now I understand why there's so many books. You're up in Mars. You're going to live there forever. Why not have some entertainment, you know? Maybe there's not enough space flicks, so they gotta read books after a while. Okay, so here we got two doors. Let's go ahead and take the left door first, guys. And in here, we got the first space bedroom. Okay, so in here, we got a space bunk bed. A Mars bunk bed. Look at this. It looks pretty, pretty cool. And here we got the space closet. Oh, you even got some more food in there okay that's pretty nice in the bedroom so you don't have to go down to the bar you can just uh, take a little midnight snack up here and you got two computers here so if you're gaming space blocks you can you guys can play together right beside each other that's pretty nice dude not too bad not too bad i wish i had something like this when i if i was on mars okay so it's time to check out the other room uh the door that goes uh, right ahead okay what do we have in here let's go and turn on the lights oh dude we got some guns in here and you can actually pick up the guns Bro! Dude, it shoots lasers? Holy cow, dude, that, I got a space gun. Okay, let's test out the other gun. What? Oh, okay, so this shoots like regular bullets, so it's not like that spacey. Uh, what do we have? We all got another space pistol? But it shoots normal rounds. I think that's the only one that shoots lasers. Let's try this then. Okay, it shoots regular rounds, and this is another... Yeah, it's the same gun. It's the same space gun. Okay, pretty nice. And here we got a computer. I guess this is like the watch watch room where you can like uh, control everything. You got your guns and everything. You kind of like the security room, I guess. And again, dude, more books. How many books do they need up here? Like, come on, bro. And up here, we got the space balcony. Uh, you got some sort of uh, force field, some gravity stuff here. So you don't get the weird uh, Mars air inside of your base. And here we can go up. You can look at those weird things up in the sky falling down. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Cool. Not, dude, so far this house is pretty, pretty insane. This gotta be the most advanced house they have added yet in Livetopia. I will say, I'm really, really impressed so far. Okay, but let's go ahead and go into this door. It might be the last door, I'm not too sure, but let's just go ahead and see what we got. Okay, okay, really, really dark. Let's go ahead and turn on some lights again. There we go, we got some lights, and we got another space bedroom, guys. Okay, so, and we got a couple of space bug beds, even more books. Uh, some chairs, okay, you gotta have some seating chairs, and in this room, there's only one computer, so these two poor guys, they wanna, they gotta share a computer, like, it's not that fancy as the other guys' uh, private little room, they got two computers in here, there's only one, I feel bad for them, but at least they got some uh, nice uh, midnight snack in their fridge, pretty cool, and what do we have in here, dude, uh, let's go in here, oh, we got another space bath bathroom, okay, but that's nice, so they might not have two computers, but they do have their own private bathroom they can share, so I guess that's fair, you know, the other guys, they want to go down and use the common uh, common area, but these guys, they got their own, own little place. Pretty cool, pretty cool, guys, pretty cool, but there was like a dome up, up there, dude. Is there a dome there? How can I get up there, dude? Is, is that an elevator or some sort of teleporting machine? Oh, bro, do I have to like teleport up there? But, but if I have to teleport, how do I get up? Where's the teleportation machine, guys? Come on. I want to go up to the dome. How do I get there? Or is there like a secret uh, hidden compartment area? Hello, can I go up to the dome, please? Bro, what? Do I just stand in here? Do I get up now? Dude, this is so tricky, dude. This is really, really weird. Uh, I wanna go up to the dome. I wanna find a way. Where's the way, dude? Okay, guys, well, I tried to get up to the top at the dome there, but I did not find a way. I did try to climb up and stuff and stuff like that, but maybe they added it just for the looks of it. I'm not too sure, guys, but I, but I tried my best to get up there, dude. Uh, so if any, any one of you know how to get up there, please let me know in the comments below so I can actually go ahead and check it out. But the update, it's not, uh, finished here, guys. We got actually some new outfits in here, and 
this is the VIP outfit for the space update. And dude, just look at this space outfit, dude. <laughs> Dude, this is actually insane. But you need to buy VIP to actually go ahead and spawn this in. Luckily, guys, they did add some other spacesuits for you to uh, check out. Uh, if you do not have the premium or, I mean, VIP. So let's go ahead and check out the free one. And it's right there, dude. This is the free spacesuit. No, dude, what? You're gonna buy the... But, but the product carnival said, oh, okay, well, maybe it's not worth it then. But yeah, if you have the carnival outfit thingy, you can get the other space suit. But if not, you gotta have the VIP one. Uh, so either way, you gotta basically pay Robux to get the space suits. But it does look kind of cool though. And yeah, guys, that was my little review of the house. Let me know what you guys think of this little space station, the Mars space station in the comments below. Personally, I think it was really, really cool and probably one of the coolest houses in Lifetopia. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.